we go. Question is, Davy Moyes, should he stay? Should he go? And what's the what's the reason? What's a worst question? No, no, it's it's. Do you, because it's that's why a lot of people are saying that he should go. Do you think he should go? Do you think he's the reason? No, no. Okay. Why? Why? Because we are united and history for United says if we give people a chance, if we give Fergie a chance, at the beginning, who I remember, like, saved us one year for the other game, just about. If we give them a chance, then yes. they're going to be there. Okay. But how, how, how long do we pull up with David Moyes before we think it's time to go? We allow him to bring in his own players. Yes. Then, once he got his own players in, a season to a season and a half, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, think that makes sense. Uh, there's no progress there, Ben. It's fair to say squeaky bum thing. I think what's interesting, though, is, that, is, is there a bare minimum that you would put on this season? A bare minimum that we have to achieve? No. To me, to me, to me this season already is over. Personally, the league's over. The FA Cup is over. We're in the Champions League, but I'm not spending the fitness progress. Uh, we, may back, we may beat Olympiacos over two, sure, two games, but, but we might not. And then, but then of course, who are we going to get next? So I'm not spending medicals like that one. Yeah, yeah. The, cha the uh, Capital One Club, we may be able to turn that around. The league's gone for me. So. <laughs> So Chris, that's Uncle Professor's granddad. So Chris, yes. David Moyes should he stay? Should he go? I agree with John. I think it's a silly question. Um, it's I not. It's not. A it is. It's a silly people, question. There are people at the moment who are, are saying, and I'm, there's either people on the bus who are actually saying David Moyes should go. And those now. people are on the bus. On the bus. And I'm not going to say who it was. I'll then, tell you after the video ends. Then those people are not proper United fans. They don't understand what our club is and what it represents. Uh, no, no. I mean, I think the fact is that if, if the consensus was that Moyes had to go. He, he would be getting stick by now, and the fans are stuck behind him, picking the pin. I think Sunderland was a great example. Sunderland was a terrible performance. There's no about it. I kid you not. I was at the Sunderland game with him, and we were chatting on the way back, and I said to him, I can't even remember the game. I couldn't even remember anything about the game. I was at the game. I know I was. Was this was, before or after the ball? Uh, <laughs> the one that we had a February. Wife no, but it's ball. Uh, uh, but it was a poor game. It was. It was a shock. But the point is that, that, that I was so glad that after the game the fans got recognised for the brilliant, brilliant support they gave. They were all behind Moyes. I think everyone realises that the problem is the Moyes. The problem, well, well, that, sometimes his tactics are a little bit, a little bit questionable. At, at, at occasion, I'm not saying all the time. But I think everyone recognises that the squad is just not what it should be. Um, but I, I guess the question I keep asking is that is right. So does last season sum up how good Fergie was as a manager when he took a bunch? Did, did he take oh, a bunch? Did everybody else? Yeah. Was. Did, did, did he take a bunch of mediocre players and win the league? Does or is Moyes not getting the best out of this? Very good. I was definitely a What? Strachan made a valid point. See when David Moyes came in. Yeah. He's not taking over the best man in the ever. No, he's, he's, he's taking over one of our poorest squads for decades, I think. Me personally, see my United like over the years. One player has had a bad game. The ball's had another 10 players behind him. He's still from playing the capabilities. But the last few years, the ball's had one player. Robert Van Persen last season. Yeah, but Rooney. apparently he, he asked Ren, Rennie Moon to, 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 to stay and he didn't want to stay. So he never got to it. It all makes sense. Uh, I mean, it can't just be one thing, it's 
it's a multiple. That's why I keep saying, I mean, if the squad's not good enough, it means that what Fergie did last year might rank as the disgrace ever achieved. Exactly. Half a day is going to die. Right, question is, right, question is, there's a lot of people debating at the moment about Moy, should he stay or should he go? Stay. Do you think he should stay? Why? Why is Manchester into other managers? Okay. Even before, even before Ferguson. Yeah, we've got new owners. I'm going to take a photo. I want to know. I want to put us in Facebook and see. I'm going to put us in the shortest term. This is this is very new. Can you name the food group? Michael Farrell. Two seasons. Can you? Do you know what? We had we had we had Tommy Doherty. He didn't manage. He had to be called Shaggy. Yes, that's right. In fact, he got sacked after we won. After we won the FA. After we won the FA Cup. No. You've also got Ron Atkinson. One man himself, six seasons, was it five seasons? He won two FA Cups, I think, Ron. He won two. But we're all stuck by the managers. I always stuck by the managers. We are Manchester United. Yeah, we are. Yeah, but there are people on the bus. I don't understand the people who are thinking should go. Regardless of where Manchester United, should he stay or should he go? Should he be scaffolding? Tell, tell, tell. Do you want another one? Yes, just a Bacardi, no Coke. No, no, he's got his own. He's very adamant about that. Just Bacardi. Cardi and nothing else. Yeah. No, nothing for Benji. Benji Boop. Should David Boy still go? Why? Because it's a crap squad. Crap squad. And the reason is, because last season, Ferguson built the squad and he knew how to turn their series basically. This season, they always does not to do that. Right. Being punished for it. Do, 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 do you know what? Somebody on there's a good fake there's a good Facebook um, site. It's called We Are Manchester United, and the guy runs it. It's called a guy called David Parker, right? And he he talks a lot of sense. And, and he said this week exactly what I said. He actually put a picture. He put up a picture on We Are Man United saying the person to blame for United's current form. Guess this picture it was. I'm going to guess either Gil or Fergie. 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 And I said to him, funny enough, I said that on a video in October last year. Remember I said that? I said, remember went round everybody, what, what, what's going wrong? And I said, I blame Fergie. So I think it's now, what did they say? Is it, is it the hens come home to roost? Something like that. Basically, you reap what you sow. And um, anyway. What's your opinion? Do you think Moy should go? No, he's got to stay. He's got to stay for at least, at least two years. The way I would look at it is I think you've got to give him three transfer windows to try and get the players in that he wants to that get. he wants to get in. Exactly. Um, uh, he's not here. Again. AWOL. Uh, and if he's watching this then... MIA. MIA. Missing in action. Uh, Very poor. Probably as well. Davy Berg. Including January as well, ideally, but realistically, who are we going to get in January that's nobody, going to be remotely nobody, uh, nobody. eligible? What, what, I'm, I, what I'm really worried about is if we don't make the Champions League, will. Rooney and Van Persie stay with us. Well, who are clearly our only two players who of, of, in my mind, are world class well, at the moment. Uh, I had a very vivid dream last night. That, uh, was we, it a wet dream? Uh, uh, no. Okay, good. Uh, anything but. Okay. Um, <laughs> was, it, was it a nightmare then? It's a very, very long, long dream, but I'll tell you the important bit that's been So you dream about football? I do dream about football. Well, you need to get your girlfriend. I'm going to carry on. That as well, I wouldn't dream. Um, <laughs> but the, there's any, if there's any girls watching this video, Chris is available, and he's only 43. <laughs> Stone. <laughs> that was it. Uh, uh, there was an announcement that uh, Thank uh, you. I cried my eyes out. I actually was crying in my dream. Uh, so it was a wet dream. The, the announcement was that we had sold Van Persie to Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, yeah, she often did. But uh, the fee was 111 million. Well, that's a great fee. That's pretty good. I'd sell him for 111 million. I was crying my eyes out, but I don't know. So, <laughs> how did you enjoy Manchester. We we lost that day, didn't we? Yeah. Aye. Well, right. That's a matter. I lost my first home. Yeah. He enjoyed the experience. So <laughs> he must have enjoyed. Hey, I, I just want to end this. I, 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 I just want to end this on you. A uh, lot of internet chat at the moment. Oh my that's, god. That's my usual staple fare. <laughs> right, quickly.
Davy Moyes stays or goes and why? I think. Yes? Assuming they get to the cup final. Capital One. If, if, Not if, we, if, if we get beat by City in the cup final. Yes. Badly. Yes. And we go out to Olympiacos. Yes. You think that? I, but no, regardless of whether the regardless of whether the owners do that, which which potentially they may do, would do you want to see him go? You. Oh. Say what I thought. I'm confess I'm quite faint. Aye. That's shocking. Aye. Well, that's what he gets paid to do. What? what? I'm on the fence. Oh, I mean, you are on the fence. Oh, right. He's not had a decent crack yet. Oh. No, he has had a decent crack. But how long will you allow him to have a decent crack? It's not up to me. I know it's not up to you, but how long would you allow it? Easter. Or what are your opinion? Easter. Easter. <laughs> Easter. No way. No, no, Come no, on. No, 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 I mean, the League Cup final. Next Easter. And the League Cup games. Okay. So what's that, March? Yeah, I, look, I pre appreciate the, the, t the, the pressure's on him. But if you were the owner, how long would you give him? Until March. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Well, explain to yourself. Come on. But uh, I'm not. By the way, I'm not saying. I'm just saying your opinion is not a singular opinion. But I want to explain it. Go on. Right, let's assume that come March, we've still got a, a chance of a top four finish. Yes. If, if we're way off the top four place, he's, he's gone in January. He's gone now. But I think if we're still there or thereabouts, and we beat Olympia. And we beat City in the cup final. You'll get one more season. Are you going to beat City in the cup final? That's crazy. I think the end of the week is. That's either if we get to the cup final. Exactly. If we lose to the cup final, we'll be at the cup. And off the top four places, he's got. And I'll get somebody else in who's got a couple of months to get the back room sorted out. So, we're Chelsea. That's what you're saying. We're Chelsea. Yeah, that's exactly what Chelsea would do. That's what Chelsea would do. That's exactly what that's Chelsea would do. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry, Prep, but you're the only one, the only one here that said that he should go. To be honest with you. Oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to backtrack. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to reword the question. Now, how can you be more clear than what I'm saying? No, 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 I think he should be given a chance. But if it's all going, if, if it's all going, uh, and the phrase ticks off by March. And you would want him to go? won the league last season with this squad. What's changed? What goes down? What's changed? Oh, what goes down? But, but Moyes, but it's not Moyes, it's not just that. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's got to be. So, so, so that's the point I made. Does that mean then that, that last year we won the league with average players, and it was for, in which case that would be Fergie's greatest ever achievement? Or is it that in reality these players just aren't good, enough, well, are good enough, and Moyes doesn't get the best out of them? It's, it's, it's one of two ways to look at it. That's fair enough. Right? We're, we're saying the background stuff here. Yeah, that's what I believe. Well, yeah, that's good background stuff. Okay, we start the manager. We get a new background stuff. Same again. Let's keep it a couple of years. That's what I see. You know what I mean? And they're going to change the background stuff again. I think it, well, that's true. Oh, you're right. But I think it's fair to say every manager who comes in does that, don't they? They bring in their own guys. Well, and we need, we need new players. We need new players. We need new players. Need new players. We've needed new players for flipping years. And we've been talking about it for And we've been talking about it for years. We've been saying for years. Even last year we were saying, this is the poorest United squad of all times. Probably right. It is. Well, Prof, we will see. I hope you're not right. I did, I did think it was interesting. I hope you're not right. Watching the TV and, and after the Sunderland game on Tuesday, and you saw Fergie and you saw um, Bobby Charlton yeah, shaking the Reds. Shaking the Reds. Like, yeah, thinking. Oh, they, were, yeah, they, uh, they were shaking hands, thinking, shit. What have we done? The poor Mark, poor Davy boys. What have we left him with? Is that what they were thinking? You know. Age players, players who, sh who don't even belong in the squad, are players we should have sat. Anyhow, that's my opinion, and it's only my opinion. So, <laughs> but anyway, thank you, Prof. And I hope you're not right, but you never know. We're, the owners may do that.
Yeah. 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 And, and Greece is the word. <laughs> Are you going to Greece now? Uh, yeah, no, they've not, they've not put the ballot out yet. No, well, I'm not sure what's going to happen with that because they've cut the allocation, not for us, but, but it's a half closed stadium um, because they've been letting off flares and singing racist songs and all that kind of stuff. Um, also, they, who, 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 Greeks, not who Greeks. Rangers? Not, not Rangers. Celtic. <laughs> No, sorry. The, uh, you said um, racist. <laughs> oh, so we we so might get we lose against the and um, um, we don't face City. That would be pretty bad. It could be pretty bad. It could be a horror story. Yeah. Well, we're clearly all going to face City in the final. That's even if we get if there. We Unless West Ham win seven. No. Well, that was that's that's that was a happened. joke, isn't it? What's the biggest shock? Uh, West Ham winning by seven or us winning by two? Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, a quick hand. Are you going to be the semi-final home leg? No. no. Are you? No. Are you? So I'm working. By the Are way. you? Are you? Oh, oh, yeah. What a bunch of part-time bastards! <laughs> <laughs> Am I? All I'm going to do is a big. Yes! Ah. <laughs> of course I'm going to be here! Of course I'm going to be here! If I'm home, I'll get to be there. I really want to be there. Okay, right. Uh, Did you know what that doesn't mean? Music! I really want to be there. I really yeah, do. Yeah.